Hey guys, hey, welcome back. I am coming on to show you the Color Kits collections for Shimmers Paints for July 2023. So I'm going to start with the paint collection. So let's see. The first color, and I always swatch them, so I know you're getting the whole preview, but just go with it. The first color, which I love the names all the time with the Shimmers Paints because they are witty, it is a Vibes, and it is called Green Tide monster it's one of the sprays guys when you go ahead and want to mix it up go like that do not shake it up because we don't want the pigment stuck in the nozzle because then you have to clean it which takes time from your creating let's not do that anywho we have this and my paints aren't fully dry but right here is that green tide monster it is a really nice deep rich evergreen fabulous Really nice color payoff, by the way. And it's got some gorgeous shimmer in there. The next color, it is called Tangerine Dream. Let me get it mixed a little bit. This is also a vibes. It is a liquidy little friend again. And it's a gorgeous color. Like, look at that. I have Sharpie on me. Sorry. It, it's, you know, occupational hazard. Anyway, we have Tangerine Dream for our second mixed media goodie. Then we have, oh, pistachio. And guys, when I when I looked at pistachio at first, by the way, it's an Inklings. Inklings are uh, paints that come dry. Just give it a few squirts, maybe 30 to 60 seconds before you want to use it. And ta-da, it's ready for you. Ta-da. Anyway, Inklings have the most beautiful, pearly little goodness to them. And I love them. So I went ahead and took a look. I'm like, oh, gorgeous color. But then when you go ahead to swatch them, <laughs> oh my word, look at this pistachio color. It's partially dry. Look at that shimmer on there. Oh, gorgeous. Next color is an Inklings as well. It is called French Twist. And it's gorgeous in the pot, right? Of course it's gorgeous in the pot, guys. Look at this gold tone as it's drying. Hello, hello, it's beautiful. Okay, and then the last color, it is an in Inklings, it is called Blue Spruce. Same thing, guys, you pop a little water in there, it is good to go when you are ready. So it is definitely picking up on the blue-green kind of vibe, you know, because it's a blue spruce, right? And that color is right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. It is saturated. It's nearly opaque. It is happiness and gorgeousness. It's so pretty. So we have that. And you guys know there's always a cut file with the paints collection. So let's show you that here. So here is just a quick mock-up of the cut file. It is super easy to use. Cuts like butter. You're going to love it. And then lastly, to show you, no, okay, so we have the cut file. Let me show you the bonus bundle. So the bonus bundle always comes with a sequin mix, which is beautiful, and it matches the entire collection. It's cleverly done, and we've got these deep, deep colors kind of going into that green tide monster vibe. And then clearly the tangerine dream, as well as coral reef, which is this color. I have to label it. It's called coral reef totally represented there we've got the smallest little hexes in the history of timer in there which are giving us some nice sparkle and shine so that color like i was saying that's right here that's in the bonus bundle it's called coral reef gorgeous color it's an inklings again the inklings that have my art because of that shimmery payoff i just oh, love it of course right here it's wet but right here it's dry and you just get to see how gorgeous the mixed media goodies are this month. Okay, so we have that. Let me put the bonus bundle away. And then the next thing I want to share with you is the paper kit, the paper collection. Okay, and I haven't taken it out yet and I was dying to get into it and I was trying to wait. It was not easy. Look at the colors. Ugh. Cannot wait to see what we have. Okay, so we've got a bunch of papers. We've got some cut aparts in here. It's kind of a high-end baggie. It's a fancy baggie. It's like a sturdy one. Okay, let's see what we have. So right up top, we'll just go top down. Why not, right? 
We've got dots, and dots are flare by any other name. They come with a little tiny pop dot on the back. So if you like that extra dimension, go for it. Leave it on there. If not, just pop it off and use some dry adhesive. It's fine. So we've got ourselves a cute little teepee. The word summer, and it's like, it's kind of picking up like seafoam happy goodness on that one. And then a peach. So cute. And then, oh, how cool. We have, this from Felicity Jane, they're stencils and they're like, um, oh well, it's a retro star. I was gonna say it's like sunbursts or starbursts or whatnot, how cute. Okay, we have a stencil. I'm rather jazzed about that. That's gonna be fun to play with with this. Okay, awesome. Now let's get into the patterned papers, guys. They're gorgeous, okay. So to start, I, I don't know which, if it, no, it doesn't seem to matter which way it goes up. Okay, so we've got these gorgeous florals. They've got this whole watercolor vibe. The color story is amazing with these, these peachy tones, the coral tones, the different greens. They make me happy and I love them and I want to cut them all out and use them on one paper. Let's see what's on the other side though because this is where it gets difficult. Oh, so it's a gorgeous background. You could so use this on anything for a background. <gasps> Guys, this is going to be, yeah. The struggle bus has already begun because both sides are perfect. Then, all right, so this, we have a lot of nice white space, which is fantastic. And multi-tones of leafy bits. We go into the blues, the greens, and a really nice gray, so we get a neutral. Guys, and you know how, like, this is pretty? You can totally have them hanging down like vines as well. I'm not sure which way they're supposed to go, but, you know, you do you. Oh, they are supposed to hang down like vines. Okay, and then the flip side. It's, like, absolute artwork. We've got these gorgeous peaches with the peach blossoms. We've got some text. Already have splatters done for you. Like, mixed media has begun on this. Absolutely. Ugh. That is a stunning piece of paper. Love the little watercolor kind of bits that we have here as well. So pretty. Okay, we have that. Then, okay, oh, I'm saving this because I just peeked on the other side. Saving it. You're gonna have to wait. Okay, so this is beautiful. Total watercolor scene here. And you know, clearly we've got that whole vibe that we've got some pine trees and some hilly areas or mountains super pretty. Oh, nice. And then the flip side, it looks kind of like torn paper and that really nice peachy shade. And we've got just a couple leaves with like a little washi tape. Look, even the washi tape has a pattern on it, even though it's not washi, but you know, it looks washi. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. Okay. Next. We've got lots of nice polka dots going in the total cool tones here with the blues and the greens. Some nice white space. Very nice. The, the paper weight on these papers, by the way, it's quite pleasant, quite nice to use. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -mm. Okay, it's gonna be tricky. Gorgeous, watercolory little butterflies here. They kind of have a little bit of a digitized vibe, which I think is super fun. And their little bods are in a nice, like, charcoal-y kind of a tone. It's so hard when you like both sides. I don't even know. I don't know. I think they're pretty. Okay, so this side, we've got a gorgeous repeating floral. Once again, we've got a lot of that watercolor kind of vibe that I think is so beautiful. Like, look at this leaf right here, and you can see how it gets that watercolor look. You have the leaves that are in those great, like, like the French twist color. And see, I'll just bring it out. See how well that matches? It's absolutely spot on. So we've got the leafy bits, and then some of that green tide monster color is, like, dropped in, and it's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Gorgeous piece. You can fussy cut this out to your heart's content. Oh, and the back side is a fabulous stripe. Such a usable piece of paper. We've got that nice, like, peachy apricot going into a, like, the world's lightest mauve. And, and, and it just comes down. Oh, 
Yeah, I cannot wait for one day when we get to have double papers. All right, so we've got a really bold, gorgeous floral here. Oh, guys, look at that. Absolutely want to fussy cut them out. They're watercolory and they're color rich and they are stunning. And I need to have a little tea break. Yes, I do. Guys, that is the bee's knees. And this is not a white background. It's a super nice, light blush kind of tone. Kind of looks like the Tangerine Dream kind of tone to me. I don't know if it is, but it looks like it. Super pretty. And I like how there's like the um, painted in white, white lines and the doodly bits on the leaves with the black. It's ugh. actually, it's probably just tone on tone green. I don't know. Love it. Oh, sweet. So the back side, it's like a gingham, but guys, see how it's like smudgy? It almost looks like a fluffy blanket to me. And it's a really blown out gingham. So pretty. Okay. All right. So, oh, so we've got kind of that gingham on this one. Yeah, they're the same size, but there are peaches on it. Peaches like overlaid. How cute, but you can still see some of the print from beneath. Cute. Ooh. And then this is, you know, it's totally tone on tone, but it's variegated in those really rich colors. This looks like the coral reef color to me. Like this one down here. Oh, it was some of the Tangerine Dreams. So pretty. Okay. That is super pretty. Oh, okay. I, I love that. Okay. So now we have this one. This one gives me those wallpaper vibes. But do you see how all of the pieces are separate? So you can cut little bits and tuck them in, you know, to help build out your clusters and all of that. So pretty. Oh, all right. The color story is really... The color story is making me happy. Yes, it is for July. Very happy. And then, oh, okay. So this is the one, this is the one I peeked at that I was like, all right, I better save it. What do we do when we have a piece of paper that looks like this and the flip side is like that? I don't know. I don't have a good answer for you guys. It is beautiful. So we've got these journaling spots and large elements. So like these look like big old tags, which are so cute. I mean, this right here looks like it has sewing lines around it. We've got nice little grid bits. We've got this piece here. You can totally write a bunch of journaling. So clever. And I love these funny little washi pieces. It looks like washi over like a Polaroid. Super cute. Cute. Okay, then the last piece of paper, the last thing for me to share with you is this piece it's got the lines it looks kind of like topography i'm not sure what it's supposed to be kind of looks like that to me and i love it guys it looks like the blue spruce color to me doesn't it Do, are you guys reading the blue spruce i don't know kind of looks like it to me okay super pretty love it easy to use of course but there you go look at that we have a cut apart sheet and this cut apart sheet is the bomb, the bomb. So I'm going to bring it up because I know it's competing a little bit with these papers. But guys, look at in the mason jar, there's a drinky poo. We've got these gorgeous florals right here. They look like my peonies. Not sure what they are, but they look like my peonies. The most gorgeous little camper. We've got a title right here done for you. These gorgeous trees. I mean, guys, look at the trees. Look at the little glamping tent and the fence post. <gasps> Look at the little tiny bird that wants to sit on the fence post. Absolutely. We've got this lantern. We've got a marshmallow on a stick for s'mores. Typewriters, guys. Look at that camera. And then we've got these little paw prints. The funniest little snail. Look at that for a little tiny touch. We've got mushrooms. Peach pie, cute. Oh my gosh, look at the little tiny hummingbird. A great ice cream cone right here. <laughs> little sunscreens. We have got little mushrooms. So guys, oh, are those cotton? Those might be cotton. We've got the uh, clusters of peaches. So look at that, so pretty. So my point is, there's so much you can do with this, guys. It is pretty 
I mean, the color story is gorgeous. There are all good things. And one of, one of my subbies made fun of me recently because I kept saying, hey guys, <laughs> when you put your order in, put my name in the comments so you can get a freebie. But I'm going to say, hey guys, put my name in the comments when you place your order to get a freebie because who doesn't want a little freebie? I always want one. Okay, so what I'm saying to you guys, this is beautiful. The color story is amazing. Look at the little squirrel. Squirrel. Okay, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful color story. Cannot say enough about this. I am going to go pop something on Netflix and cut this out because that's just plain fun to me. And I'll be back ever so soon with another video. Oh, links down below where you can get your hands on these kits and for the blog and the Facebook group and all that kind of stuff. And then, yes, I'll really see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye, guys.